This is Riley Holman for GoAZCats.com and alongside me I have Matt Moreno. The Arizona Wildcats just got done with their annual red-blue game that was held a little bit earlier this year because of recruiting purposes. Now tell me why do you think this is so important to have a game like this for recruiting? Uh, well I think you saw it tonight there was a bunch of recruits here at probably more than I can remember in my time covering the team at least there were a lot of guys that you know and they weren't just nobodies. They weren't just guys that, you know, they found on the street and brought in and said, hey, you want to come take a visit? They're high-level guys, guys that are going to be playing in the NBA one day. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how it all kind of plays out for them. But um, everything's about recruiting, especially at a school like Arizona. Um, it's kind of the lifeblood of this program, and it's going to be a big part of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, there were a lot of good recruits here tonight, and they put on a good show. I mean, Arizona, they do what they do well. And uh, for, for what they had to show, I mean, it was – not a lot of good basketball, um, so maybe you're not necessarily pulling out the tape of this, of this game and showing the recruits, hey, you think you could be like this guy, but you just want to show them the atmosphere. Um, as we were talking about before the game, not a lot of places are selling out uh, a, basically a glorified practice, a scrimmage. So um, just to do that on its own is impressive, and um, it'll be something that the recruits, I think, will remember. Sean Miller talked a little bit about Josh Green and he said the kid has really been working hard in practice and he's been impressive and he's always coming in wanting to learn more. What did you see from him tonight? Uh, usual Josh Green stuff. I thought we saw his athleticism on display. Um, we saw his defense in a big way and, and you know there wasn't a lot different that we saw tonight that we weren't that kind of like, whoa we'd never seen that before. Maybe with one guy I think that we're going to talk about next or soon but um, <laughs> with Josh Green it was one of those things where the crowd here who maybe hasn't seen him play as much. I've seen him play a lot. It was not a surprise what he did. I mean, there was um, maybe he didn't shoot the ball like you normally would, would see or expect from him, but he had the huge dunk behind us here um, on the breakaway. And then, you know, his defense is what he's going to do. It's Sean Miller mentioned it after the game. He said if there's one thing he's ready to do right now, contribute at right now, it's defense. And you could see that tonight even in a game like this. Speaking of dunks, Devonair Dutrieve did win the dunk contest, and he also said he feels a lot more comfortable at that one spot. How would you rate his development from last year to now? Uh, it's not quite night and day, but it's more kind of just blossoming. I think he's always had everything that he showed tonight. It's just he's getting a bigger opportunity to do it. Um, he's getting an opportunity to run the point a little bit more, handle the ball some more. And I thought you could really see him settle in and look comfortable in that role. Um, Arizona's going to need that. I think if there's one takeaway, if uh, if Jamal Baker can't get cleared and play this season, they need someone else who can take care, of the, can handle the ball, take care of the ball for Sean Miller. He mentioned that a couple times, but um, someone who can, you know, run the point guard position and give Nico some rest. So um, I think when you watch when you watch Devin Air play, you can say, okay, that's somebody I think could, could do that and play that role. And so I think that's going to be important for him to continue to develop that. But I thought overall he just looked very comfortable. He looked like a guy who's going through this for the second time. This wasn't his first time. Sean Miller mentioned jitters. Um, there wasn't jitters. It was one of those things where, you know, there was, it was, you could see the difference in, in him and, and from him compared to the freshman. Nico Mannon loves to push that offense, and Sean Miller did say he will have to face his own for the very first time. How do you see Nico adjusting to this? I thought it was, again, a, a freshman performance, and I think it's tough, and Sean Miller mentioned this. Their expectations are very unfair for a guy like Nico. He's a YouTube star. He's a <laughs> social media star. I mean, we've heard how many times we, were we walking through the arena that we heard, oh, that's my favorite player or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people like Nico, and they're going to expect him to be 100% on all the time. That just comes with the territory. There's going to be moments when he's just not going to be that guy. And so it'll be interesting to see kind of how it all works for him and, and how he improves this season and um, how he's able to adjust to, to being, you know, having that much attention. Obviously, high school is one, one level, and you can get attention at the high school level, but now it's going to be national, and people are going to want to see him perform. So um, he didn't have his greatest night. We've seen, I've seen him play a lot better than that. But I think it's for him it's just about, as Sean Miller mentioned, just getting those jitters out, getting that kind of feeling of playing in this, in this arena out and, you know, he'll move, he'll move forward and be better, but um, I think there's, you know, there's going to be a lot of firsts for Nico Mannion. I think that's kind of what Sean Miller was getting at, and um, we'll see kind of what it means for him as he moves forward, but uh, not a bad night for him at all. Sean Miller did say that grad transfer Max Hazard is the team's best shooter, and he did come up with 11 points tonight. How important is this player for the future of this team? Uh, very important. I mean, he's going to be kind of one of those glue pieces to this team, and if he's going to be able to shoot the ball like Sean Miller says he is, um, it's going to be a difference maker, and that'll that'll be a chance to be an X factor for this team as they move forward. And they need someone who can shoot the ball like that. And um, I think he brings just a calm to the team. I think when you saw him tonight, he had some issues, but I think when you saw him out there and, and looked at certain things, there's just a calm about kind of what he does that I think resonates with the players, and it'll help him as he goes forward and it'll help the team. 
Earlier this week, I spoke with Zeke Najee, and he did say one thing about him that most people don't know is he loves the piano, and he did open up tonight's game with the national anthem. But besides, besides this, how important is this player to the team, and where does this freshman rank? Um, yeah, well, now 14,500 people know he can play the piano. Uh, he, was, he did pretty good. Uh, it was a different rendition than I think most of us has heard. He said he learned it in about four days. But, um, yeah, I think you saw glimpses of what he's going to do for this team, rebounding especially. I think you saw that tonight. Uh, in a big way and that's going to be something he helps this team with but he'll get more into his scoring role and, and that's one of the things that he needs to continue to get better at is just being more aggressive on the offensive end and really you know putting his head down and scoring and scoring um, that'll come but I, I think right now what you know kind of similar to how we mentioned with Josh Green and you know what he can do right now is, is play defense um, with, with Zeke Nagy you know he can rebound and that's something that's going to help this team and they can kind of build around that but um, it wasn't his best tonight but I thought um, you know you, you saw glimpses of where he's going to help this team. All right, so first little look at this new Arizona team. The Wildcats do return to the McHale Center in November. We will be covering it, so stick with us all throughout the year as we cover more Arizona basketball. For GoEasyCats.com, I'm Riley Holman alongside Matt Moreno.